what's going on guys welcome back to another video thank you guys for checking out the channel i appreciate it sorry guys i've been uh sick um wasn't feeling too good the last three days that's why there's been no videos feeling a little bit better getting better better and better every day so um that's the reason why there hasn't been no videos so um if you guys can put that get well soon in the chat i would appreciate in the comments below appreciate it but um I'm just here to explain to you why Big Ben really won his last home game yesterday versus the Browns. As you know, the Browns are the team that passed on him in the draft. And how fitting that's his last home game ever versus the team that passed on him and he beats them. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on that bell so you don't miss any time we post a video. And uh, join the Patreon page as well if you like everyday picks. Um, but here's the real reason why Big Ben won yesterday. So Big Ben will finish his career 92 and 31 as a starter at home. And Gematria Ben Roethlisberger equals 92. See that? And now the 31 is because Stillers equals 31. So what a perfect record to finish your home. What a perfect record to finish at home with. 92 and 31. When Ben Roethlisberger equals 92 and Stillers equals 31. Notice, see how Ben Roethlisberger equals 97? Big Ben is currently 8-7 and seven this season because he didn't play one to tie versus the Lions because of COVID, they said. Notice how Big Ben wins his last game of his career, you know, as they're saying, he can finish the season 9-7, and seven, like how Ben Roethlisberger equals 97. Still is their underdogs next week, by the way. See it is Big Ben in the regular season is 164 81 and 1. If Big Ben wins next week and doesn't lose, he would finish his career with 81 regular season losses. Pittsburgh Steelers equals 81. See how the 81's coming together, the 92, the 31. Big Ben is 78 and 54 and 1 on the road. Look at Ravens equals Ravens equals 79. So Big Ben could pick up his 79th road win versus the Ravens equals 79. And he can prove the 9 and 7, 9, 7, 7, 9. When Ben Roethlisberger equals 97 and Ravens equals 79. Like Ben get his 79th road win of his career. Um, see all this? It's all adding up. Also yesterday, we... uh. Let me see here. Big Ben got his 236 passing touchdown. Um, Big Ben passing touchdowns at home. I think it was at home. Whole time. 236. So he only scored one touchdown yesterday, which was hilarious. It's because he's going to finish with 236 passing touches at home. It's because in Jamatria, Cleveland Browns equals 236. That's the reason why Big Ben only threw one touchdown to finish with 236. Let me see how much he has on the uh, way. 181. Hmm. Might be no connection there. Sometimes it's obvious. Baltimore Ravens. Pittsburgh Steelers. Nope, nothing coming up. 181. If Big Ben only throws one touchdown next year. I'm not next year, next week. Look what. He'll finish with 182 touchdowns on the road. Ben Roethlisberger equals 182. See that? He has 116 interceptions. Let me just see what his stats versus the Ravens is. Ben Roethlisberger stats versus Ravens all time. 42 and 24. Okay. Thirteen and thirteen. 
He has 14 touchdowns on the road versus the Ravens, and it's 43rd overall. 43 is the 14th prime, so he probably does throw one touchdown next week to finish out his road career. And they perhaps win that game like 13-6, maybe 17-10. Touchdown for Ben, touchdown for Najee. But yeah, guys, that's what I want to point out to you guys about how all this stuff is all rigged and scripted by the numbers. <laughs> you just got to love it, man. He gets his finishes 92-31 at home when his name equals 92, still is equals 31, and it comes versus the team that passed on him in the draft, and that's how he ends his home career. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I will see you guys later.